Hey, it's Sam here and I'm back for another leg day. This is at Bodyworks in Tottenham. I'm doing leg day focused on hamstrings and calves. So there will be some compound exercises, but it's going to be focused on the hamstrings. I'm going to pre-exhaust those first. So stick with it, see the full workout that focuses on those. Any comments you've got, I respond to all the comments, chuck them in below. If you like the video, think of subscribing. There's absolutely loads of workouts like these, some varied leg days, every other muscle group covered throughout the week as I record all my workouts. I'm going to get ready for this and start on some seated leg curls. So I've just set this one up and as I haven't used this exact machine before it's taken a little bit longer than normal to really make sure that my knees are going to be in line with the, the mechanism so there's no slippage there as I do the reps and that the pad for the ankles is far enough away that it's all going to work correctly. I've had a little dabble, I'm going to put the full stack on here should be okay for at least 10 reps but definitely this is my favorite hamstrings isolation doing seated leg curls I think it's really that you get locked in that makes it so effective it's been studied versus lying leg curls and been suggested that it's more effective I think because you can't really slip so much and the angle of your torso compared to your thighs seems to really stretch the hamstrings but you can feel that it's really working just the hamstrings and have other techniques for lying leg curls to make sure that I don't slip so much but I always start with this usually <clears throat> a good set it's just a little bit more awkward locking this than on the usual machine that I use but it's all good so I'll get ready after a little breather for set two and set two You know you're really into this by the time you're concerned with hamstrings and calves, that's for sure. less reps than would be ideal especially for lower body so for the last set I'm gonna lower the weight it was on 119 kilograms I lowered it to 91 I'll take a breather and then get one more set in with this I get my last one here really focus on some quality reps before finding another hamstrings isolation to do yeah. string curl is really heavy on this machine it feels like So the 
plan is a couple more sets on here. Then I'll look at something uh, unilateral, do a standing hamstring curl, one leg at a time. Then I will have had at least one thing unilateral for the workout. And then after that, move on to the compound exercises and then finish on carbs. But it's more the quads that have been my focus on most of the leg days, where I was kind of lacking that vastus lateralis, the outer side of the the quads but I've seen progress there from putting my heels really close together on hack squats and things like that but in this gym I don't like the hack squat machines so most of my leg workouts here are going to be a little bit more evenly spread or focused on hamstrings so I shall progress into set two of these lying leg curls noticed with this, this machine compared to the other one I've been using down at Zone is that with the slope off down here it feels like more stretch on the hamstrings at the end of the eccentric I quite like that I think it's uh, I think it's a machine to return to for sure I'll just do one more set and then look at something else set four now So here we've got a basic version of standing leg curl that you're going to see where you stand in each side and do each leg individually. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a standing leg curl where you do both legs together. It would be kind of precarious, I guess, but perhaps such things do exist. I've just never seen it. So with most unilateral movements, I prefer to do the first set of each pair on the weaker side. So I'm right side dominant, so I'll always do the leg curls with the left leg first, and it'd be the same for arms. So I'll put my left leg in first, and lean in, hold these. and then switch over to what's probably the stronger leg. So because this is each leg individually, 
and it's going to take me twice as long to get through and it'd be very repetitious for the video. I'm just going to do one more set of each leg and then carry on on my own and rejoin the video for the next exercise otherwise you'd be uh, skipping through eight sets of essentially the same thing so what you'll see now is I can probably get into position a bit quicker now that I'm used to this machine I haven't used before probably get a little bit less reps because I'm feeling that fatigue now I'll do set two for each side to wonder if it is actually my right leg that's stronger and it turns out like this so see how I get on for the next couple of sets each leg and you can rejoin for the next exercise so moving on to this leg press now and with three exercises on the hamstrings isolating them under my belt this should be really hard on the hamstrings now all pre-exhausted but I'm still gonna add hams hamstrings emphasis by putting my feet pretty wide apart on the platform, pretty high up, so that tends to add a little bit more emphasis to the hamstrings relative to the quads in any kind of leg pressing or squat movement. So I've already been adjusting this so that I've got good knee flexion. Going deep enough there, and I'll start set one. Touch heavier for the second set. I'll adjust that and come back. Now that I'm all warmed up, I'm going to challenge myself with the whole stack on this thing. So, don't know how it's going to go, but I don't edit out any of the experiments in these videos. So, you'll see just how it goes. But what you've got to remember with all these leg pressing machines and movements that aren't squats is that you're then not pressing your body weight against gravity so you know in my case I can knock off 130 kilos of what I'll be pushing if I was doing any kind of squat movement like, involving my body weight so it's the full stack on here but I'm lying horizontally so I'm not pressing my own weight so I'm just going to keep it in mind and go for it I know it's going to be harder having done three exercises before this but makes every session a bit more interesting to me to have some kind of challenge involved so i've got the full stack on here i'm gonna go for the same foot positioning and just go for it
too bad. Let's see if I can do that again. The manufacturer of this machine is Gym 80. You don't always see their stuff in newer gyms but it seems really well made like really sturdy stuff because where have I seen it has been an older gym where it's obviously a piece that's survived a long time and it just seems really well made. So I'm quite a fan of this machine, I could use it again for sure. But I'm getting to that point where I'm really feeling it. Leg days are tough and always my treat after a leg day is a muscle soak bath. Put the Epsom salts in there and just like relax the legs off after my post-workout meal. So by the time this video goes online, I'll be all relaxed, putting in some proper recovery techniques so I can get ready to do it all over again as soon as possible. So here we've got another exercise where I'm going to be doing each leg individually. So again, I'm not going to show you every set, otherwise it's extremely repetitious for the video. So I'm going to show two sets of each leg, so you can see it from a couple of angles and get the idea of what I'm doing here. But that'll be half of what I'm actually working on. And I'll keep the video moving for us all. So left leg first, as I believe it's my weaker side, though that may be changing. <clears throat> Put it quite high up, get that focus on the hamstrings there, steady myself against the frame. personally find with anything pressing is I can feel it more in my hamstrings if I focus on pressing a little bit more through the heel of my foot so I'm concentrating on it in that fashion for this exercise Set one each leg done. Okay, hop in for set two.
So I'll just finish this on my own and we'll rejoin for the next exercise. And uh, I'm really enjoying training here and chatting to people as well. I was just talking to a younger guy who's been training for two years and he showed me where he's up to. Showed me a couple of pictures that he took. He's like, been training for two years. He's got real definition in his triceps, his deltoids. And I think knowledge in this kind of thing has come a long way since when I started. When I started, I was not that far ahead after just two years. Yeah, it's really impressive to see like how quickly people can progress with all this information more widely available on the internet. Because when I started training, all my info was coming from, from books. I still think books are the best. I'm taking a real deep dive on certain topics like what I've done with nutrition or PEDs or anything like that. But general, general knowledge among beginners is sometimes really impressive and it's like really good to see younger guys that are taking this on and obviously training really hard. It keeps me motivated to like stick with it this hard after this length of time. So I'm going to stick with this exercise and then rejoin probably for calves. So I was going to move on to calves, but then I saw that an extra room has opened up down here with more leg isolation, so I couldn't resist exploring. I thought I'd do something on quads while I'm here. I know it's not a quads focused session, but to do something, as I'm doing all this extra work on legs in my split, I'll throw it in as well. What I noticed with this is I wanted my feet to come back further at the end of the eccentric portion of the exercise, but with these adjustments here, it won't go any further back. So this is the best that I can do for range of motion on this machine, but I can still really feel it in the quads. So I'm not gonna worry about it. And I've always loved leg extensions. I really feel it just in my quads. actually say the most brutal superset <coughs> that I've done for quads before is leg extensions straight into sissy squats for like five sets. I'm not doing that at the moment because with my body weight it makes the sissy squats like really too few reps, too hard after doing leg extensions but come contest prep time when I'd be like three stone lighter by the end of it, it's definitely an option. So, we'll get a couple more sets on here, and then we'll look at some exercises for calves. <sighs> when I did the last bit of messing about with calves in this gym, I really enjoyed it, because I've got one machine that's different to what I've got access to elsewhere. But uh, I don't want to do the same thing every time. I'll keep the videos fresh. Set three now. Ah! 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 
last one, set four. So we made it to calves after all, and uh, as you may know from watching my other videos, if you're a subscriber, I don't usually do the calves on the leg day because you feel like you put a lot of exertion into legs, which is usually your hardest training session, and then calves becomes an afterthought where you're not hitting it full force. But today, I just wanted to make an exception because it wasn't the hardest of leg days. So I didn't do my hack squats and that sort of thing. So I'm going to do calves. And I'm going to do the full stack once I've warmed up, so stay tuned for that. But first I'm going to show you a little tip. So, one of the reasons I don't usually like the standing calves machine is whatever's screwing this on in every machine I've tried leaves these awful scratches, like, on your shoulders, which is kind of painful, but also makes your, your girlfriend think that you've been having a fight with the cat or far, far worse. So, not the one, but I found if you pad it with the knee wraps, the leg wraps, it doesn't kind of burst through, it doesn't scratch them there. Never worked before with a shirt, hoodie or towel or anything like that, but these wound round, I've always found works for it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for all my sets here and you'll see, see how it goes. So put 100 kilos on to start with the first set and then we'll look at doing the full stack. So you balance these on first and then carefully getting shoulder by shoulder so you're getting that extra padding underneath get that secure before you stand on the platform then straighten up your toes then hold the handles and go There we go. And then grab those before they fall off. Done. So, I'll take this down, put the full stack on, and get ready for set two. Right, here we go, let's do this. Okay, last one here. I'm gonna do a drop set and I'm gonna be less shy about things. I've got my calves out for you now. I really are quite a priority to grow these because they could do to be bigger for the length of my legs. I'll high wrap it out for this part. Let's get those pads back on. Last set of the day, come on. Thanks for watching. That brings us to the end of another great workout. Enjoyed using some different kit. That's going to be a common theme to keep things interesting and show you loads of exercises that you haven't seen before as you stick with it on all these workouts on this road to 300 pounds. And I'm still getting my breath back from that last drop set there. 
that was extremely painful. But that's what leg days are all about. No pain, no gain and all that. But leg days, usually where you're gonna be lifting the heaviest, maybe followed by back. But I, I enjoy them all, you know. I love it and I wanna maintain balance in my development by putting extra work where it's needed. So in my split, I have got a little bit more emphasis towards legs as my split's going legs, chest, back, legs, shoulders, arms, so that legs is getting done twice as much as everything else. But you can see my stage pictures. If you go on my Instagram app for Zeke Philosopher, you can see it's not too out of balance, but you'll agree that the legs need extra work. So that's where the extra work's going. You can't just do what's your best all the time. Otherwise things get even more out of whack. So I think anyone's training should be tailored to the bits that are slightly behind. Just put a little bit more work there and then get the whole system working with the diet and such like. So I'm looking forward to that post-workout meal as usual. And then a bath where I can relax these legs and they should be ready to go again in three days. Three days, four days, depends on when I take my rest day. But I'm always less happy on a day where I haven't got to the gym. I like getting in here and seeing all my friends, getting that calm that comes from really exercising hard and how you feel afterwards. I'd encourage just exercise in general, it doesn't have to be bodybuilding to have that kind of well-being. So always a side benefit though. I'm always working primarily for the progress. That's what I get a lot of my enjoyment from, along with sharing what I've discovered so far and helping people get in shape and contest preps. More on that in the coming months, because I'm going to stick with it with these, this channel. If you, if you subscribe now, you're really in at the early days, because this is the 50th video, so the 50th day that I've put something out, but it's going to maintain on this schedule of daily videos all through this year and you'll see it grow and grow and grow. So if you're subscribed now, you're in really early and uh, I want to give you my thanks for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet and you've just got to the end of this because it's turned up and you recommend it, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got a feel for what this channel is all about, just guiding you through everything that I know through my workouts in the gym and showing you my progress and what I know about bodybuilding. At the moment, it's in a bulk phase, but later on, It'll be all the cutting to get that look that I've put on stage before. So if you're interested in all that, consider subscribing or check out some of my videos that are coming up on the next, the next screen there. And I hope you've had a good workout yourself if you've been to the gym today or had a good rest day and a good weekend otherwise. Look forward to making the next video. See you soon. Cheers.